What's up? This is Dams It All, the show about the USACE mission and why it's important. You might hear some planes flying up above while we're recording. That's because we got a couple fires in the immediate area, and these aircraft are doing their best to make sure that those fires don't get out of control. Let's see if my fancy microphone over here will do its job. It's supposed to just focus on my voice and block out everything else, but we'll see. On today's show, I'm gonna do my best to try to explain the entire USACE mission, which is massive, like huge. When the country has a problem and they need someone to solve it, they reach out to USACE and our 37,000 plus people to work on that problem until we figure it out. But first, school is back in session and I have been waiting to get these kids out of my house. Like, I love my girls to the moon and back, but they absolutely create a distracting work environment. Wanting my attention, caring about what I think, ugh, like stop being so needy. You know, daddy's kidding, girls. I love you, please keep snuggling me. It's like my favorite thing. Oh, and falling asleep on me. I mean, that might be my favorite thing. And now for some sadder news. You might have noticed that I didn't do a show last week and that's because my grandma passed away. She was 99, she was ready to go. She was surrounded by her family and her loved ones in the room that she'd been sleeping in for 60 years, lived on her own all the way to 99. This woman was incredible. I'm telling you, she was skydiving when she was like 92, whitewater rafting when she was 94. She did her first tequila shot at 96. She grew up in London during the Nazi bombing in World War II, and she faked her age and forged her birth certificate so she could join the Royal Air Force at 17. Funny thing is, they didn't even ask. They were just like, yeah, please help us. And it was there that she met my grandpa, and well, the rest is history. I had the opportunity to sit down and record a conversation with her a few years back, and I want to play a little of that for you right now. I was born in London and I had a slightly different childhood. I went to a private girls' school. Then the war broke out. A couple of days before my 17th birthday, I said to Mum, I'm going to join up. And they decided that I should go to a Spitfire base. Well, I was 19, something like that, just 19, when I met your grandfather. Your grandfather and his friend were down in the bar, and his friend happened to be the boyfriend of my best friend. He saw me coming down the steps and he called my name. And so I would, well, Ace, what are you doing here? And he said, oh, just with a friend of mine. So I took off into the dining area. And apparently your grandfather said to him, that's the girl I'm gonna marry. And that's how I've tried to live my life. You know, whatever happens, I just try to roll with the flow. It made me strong. Let's put it that way. It made me strong and it made me realize that after all I had gone through, there was nothing, nothing could phase me again. She was an amazing lady and I'll miss her terribly, but I'm just glad that she was my grandma. Okay, now a smooth transition right into talking about America's infrastructure. So what I'm basically gonna do is I'm going to take our USACE headquarters mission video and then just explain it all to you here in this video. Now you might be thinking, Luke, are you just gonna rehash some other product from headquarters and pawn it off as your own? That's not right. Don't worry, I wrote it, produced it, edited it, voiced it, so it's kind of fair game. Plus, if you look at the number of views that it has on YouTube, I don't think many people actually saw it. All right, let's get started with flood risk reduction. Our series of levees, dams, bypasses, and weirs prevent catastrophic flooding across the nation. Working with our local partners on this kind of infrastructure saves lives and property every year. Clean energy. USACE is the largest producer of hydropower in the country and among the nation's leading users of clean and renewable energy. We use the latest tech to help military installations produce as much energy as they use. Yeah, see? Planes flying overhead. Never a good sign when you're living in California in the summer. The emergency operations. We work with our federal, state, and local partners to restore critical public infrastructure after a disaster. 
and we've deployed thousands of experts to some of the worst natural disasters around the world. Navigation. Around 95% of all U.S. imports and exports, worth like trillions of dollars, moves on waterways and channels maintained by USACE. Our locks and dams allow ships of all sizes to move around the country, like recreational boats up to barges. Ecosystem. Restoration. So we build and restore critical wildlife habitat for endangered species, and we even work to control invasive species. We also regulate activities that impact our nation's waterways and wetlands. And this is to make sure we can protect important resources and aquatic habitats. We also clean up hazardous waste, but not only on military installations, like anywhere we find it. Research and development. USACE operates multiple state-of-the-art laboratories where scientists research and develop technologies that save lives and help us get ready for the future. When something new is needed to like help us do our mission, these are the folks that make it happen. Military support. We build world-class military facilities for our service members and their families. And we work with the VA to make sure our veterans get the kind of care they've earned. All right, did you get all that? Now, I know it's like drinking from a fire hose with all the information I just threw at you, but I just wanted you to know a little bit more about the overall USACE mission and how many irons we have in the fire every day. All right, that's it. Hey, don't forget to interact with the video. Maybe drop something in the comments, maybe ask a question. I mean, you're already here. We can get a little conversation going. And please share this video with anybody who you think would benefit from this information. Well, that's gonna do it. Well, another plane. Man, they are working hard. For USA's Portland, I'm Luke Burns.